Hello everybody. Thank you for joining us today on this auto build, a new new feature in ETAP 14. And again, we, we thank everyone for to join us here today. We're going to get started on the auto build presentation so we can show you the new way of building a one line diagram in ETAP 14. We're going to talk about the auto build toolbar, which is composed of multiple sections being the rule book, the templates, alignment tools, and the voltage propagation. So with that being said, we're going to bring up ETAP so we can show you the way you build a one-line diagram. Now, let's start with what we used to do on a one-line diagram in previous versions of ETAP. Like many CAD programs, you select a component, you drag it to the, to the presentation area, and you pull the components and connect them together. So it's as simple as easy, click, drop, and connect. So in this case, I can take multiple elements, I pull them to the one line, I connect, which many people probably are familiar with in this case already. And then we took it to another level where we added a feature called auto connect that removes the need to connect the primary and secondary side of these components separately. So it saves us a couple clicks when you're dragging components. If I multi-select a bus and bring a transformer, you'll notice with auto connect, I'm automatically picking up the primary side of the transformer. And once that's connected, I'm then selecting the secondary side. So this feature allows an easy way to collect multiple components without having to grab the connecting icon and manually connect the system ourselves. So in this case, I'm quickly building a motor control center here and I automatically have the motor terminals to connect to the bus. Now, We've taken this one step further. I'm going to delete these systems that I've currently constructed. Remember to use your keyboard shortcuts here. And we're going to turn on auto build, the new feature of ETAP 14. So with this, you'll notice that the first thing I do is select my source and bring it on the one line diagram. Now, after the source is selected, what you'll see is that now I've just clicked a bus and it's automatically connected to the utility. I did not have to drag and drop. After I selected the bus, I add a high voltage circuit breaker. Then I go to a transformer, then select my cable and another bus. Now that was in matter of seconds, depending on the speed of which you can click on the, ACE, on the element toolbar. So in this case, with auto build, I can just select the, the components in the order I want to connect them, and they're automatically connected in line on the one line diagram. The speed in which you build a one line diagram just got drastically faster. And I continue to do so with protective devices as well. So I select current transformer, relay, breaker, and you see that we're automatically continuing this build in a matter of seconds. I connect the bus here. And at any point, I can use any of ETAP's current tools, such as composite networks, composite motors, any of our connection elements, switches. They're all accessible through the auto build feature. And if I drag an element, let's say I select a cable here, we can auto insert. Now, historically in ETAP, we've always been able to auto insert protective devices. So in this case, I come in here with my protective device. I put in the fuse and it automatically connects in line with the, with the one line diagram. With ETAP 14, we've taken this to another level. For example, if I go from the fuse, to a load and I've forgotten my cable, now I can easily auto insert a cable as well. So 
So in this case, I connect, I clicked on the connection line, I clicked the cable, and it was brought in right in line with that load. I didn't have to hit delete, I didn't have to disconnect, I didn't even have to drag the cable. I just clicked the connection line and clicked the cable, and it got brought in automatically. Let's remove this cable and use some of ETAP's other tools, such as the composite network. You can still use previous ways for connections. So if I connect to this bus here, and now we have a new way to select symbols. So in the right click menu, I have a bus node option where I can change the node from a bus to a node and incorporate different sizes as well. So in this new way of selecting symbols, instead of just a node and a bus, we have different sizes for these and you can switch between them very easily. Once I have the composite network in, I can open the composite network and start my connections from this point on again. And again, once we have this selected, I have the bus clicked so I can continue to build on from this point. You have to have the, the component from which you want to continue highlighted. So once I select the bus, what you'll notice is the editor has elements active or deactive based on the ones that you can that you can continue to build upon. So if there's elements that don't make electrical sense on the connections, they will be grayed out in the toolbar. So we only provide you with the options that make electrical sense. Another way auto build helps is if I build this motor network here. and I want to center a line, I select the breaker here and click this alignment tool, which automatically aligns the motor symmetrically against the breaker that's been selected. So we shifted them. Essentially, it was built to the right by default. I click one button as downstream alignment, symmetrically adjust all the loads accordingly. And now I know that I need to add some protection and some cables in this network as well. So here I highlight the motors and you see that I have some options for what I can insert above these motors. I can insert a, I can insert a protective device as well as a cable. Now, Instead of going one by one, which we previously had to do, in previous versions and many other programs, you have to add a breaker, add a cable, add a load. Add a breaker, add a cable, add a load. In this case, I was able to quickly build all of the loads by just clicking them multiple times on the element, highlighting the loads, and auto-inserting the cables and the breakers for all the motors automatically. This has drastically saved in terms of effort and time for the most tedious parts of building a one-line diagram. Other options that we have is if you have to do one more, you can highlight the selected branch, use keyboard shortcuts to make replications of this as well. So you can very easily replicate this whole branch with your keyboard shortcuts. So in this case, I, I selected these components. I held control shift and drag. 
And you can do this as many times as you want once you have certain sections of this built. Also, if you see that this is a common construction that you've done in many of your projects, you can highlight this and add it to a template. Now, when you first get ETAP, don't forget to look at all the folders and templates we provided because there's many things that people build that can be pre-constructed in our templates folder. So you don't need the effort of building them from scratch. So when you get your versions of ETAP, go through in the template folder and take a look at all the pre-built templates we provide. And once you've reviewed them, you have the option to add any template that you've created from your one-line diagram as well. So if I come in here and name this MCC1, for example, I have a list in the auto build editor of the most recent templates that I've provided, allowing me at any time to reconstruct or bring back these templates for the current project or any other project I've worked on. These templates can be shared throughout your organization so they can be used very easily. And every one you use will be saved in this list for recent use. And all you got to do is click this arrow and it'll automatically bring this down for repeat use, making building a one line much, much faster than it's ever been before. Also, another menu you may notice is this pull down menu that has a list of voltages. Now I can select this voltage, click a bus, hit this arrow, and it'll propagate this voltage downstream throughout the system. So from here on out, any component I open has been propagated with the voltage I selected at that bus. You can also do this upstream up to the nearest transformer. So in this case, we could select the voltage propagate and it'll go to the nearest upstream transformer as well. And if you notice the one on the secondary side, that also went upstream to the secondary side of the above transformer. So the voltage propagation now is customizable and can be easily done for large portions of your system. And don't forget in ETAP 14 that it, our composite networks have now been enabled to have unlimited connections. So in this case, at any point, you can take different components and instead of clicking on a pin, I can go into the composite network and connect to any part that's inside. So with these tools, we've drastically enhanced the speed of which we, we are building a one-line diagram. Also, another feature that we've added is I can select portions of the system, move them as future state so that they're built in the future, and in the theme editor, I can take my future state components and make them transparent. What this does is this hides any components in the future. So that when I select OK on this theme, any future components will be hidden. And this is all base dependent. So in this case, I, I'm canceling it out just to show you that all of this is, is base and revision dependent. So now what you've seen is a quick way to build a one-line diagram. And also, don't forget to use your alignment tools as well, which is also shown in the auto build toolbar. Now, in this version, we've made building a one-line so quick that I built that so quick that this webinar wasn't too long as well. But we appreciate your time. And we hope that you saw how fast I built that one line diagram um, will help in future releases of new design projects.